Hello everyone, and welcome to our Assassin's Creed Valhalla Let's Play. Today we embark upon our journey with Honorbound. A clash of iron. There is fighting nearby. Dag, you old hound. You live. I do. Slipped away in the sword clash. And what of you? Chotve tried to sell me off. A mistake he'll regret. Not today he won't. I saw him board a ship at Davalt's Nest not long ago. Sailed east, leaving our crew behind. There must still be time to save our men. I will find them. You ready the longship. You glory hound. You would take the rescue for yourself, so the victory song is written about you. I could storm the beach then, slay two dozen men, seize our dragon boat, and hoist the sail in triumph. Up to you. No, no, I will take the beach. A far more dangerous path. You search the longhouse for our crew. Oh, and here. This corpse will not have need of it. Go. I'll meet you by the ship. Kjotve's warriors crawl through Arval's nest like lice. If I use the main gate, I may attract attention. The longhouse. My crew should be inside. Alright, so we're actually going to do a little bit of creep in here, considering that we actually need to get into the longhouse without being detected. Of course, it does look like there is some military out and about, but we're not really seeing a whole lot of craziness just yet. Now I'm going to quickly try to climb all the way to the tippy top here without being detected, considering that I don't think they're going to be a big fan of seeing somebody scale up their building side. I mean, I can't really blame them, but I mean, come on. We're uh, a very friendly individual. We just started our campaign, and for all they know, maybe we're bringing gifts and all kinds of good stuff. You squirm like that, and my axe will miss your neck. Unpleasant for both of us. If I'm to die, I want to make a mess of it, Bakraut. You coward! Unbind me and stick an axe in my hand! I owe you nothing, raven shit. Yours is a clan of thralls and peasants. You! Lay that axe aside or die by mine. You should be on a slave ship to Ireland, Wolfkist. But if you wish to be my first sacrifice, Odin will be more than happy to receive you. You just killed yourself, Erki. Won't take long. I will send you to hell herself. All right, so this guy actually has a weapon that kind of does a little bit of range, but obviously we need to stay a little bit back away from him. Let's actually try to do some heavier attacks here and see if we can try to chain some of these together. Looks like we are keeping a pretty good amount of distance from this guy. Obviously going to get a little bit closer, but we also need to get away from that slashing that this dude is currently working on. Now, overall, his health is looking about halfway. Obviously, we actually just chipped him down a little bit more here, so he's looking more akin to about 25% or so. Got a really good shot on that guy there. Father, you should have held on to this until the bitter end. If I give my life, will you spare my clan? That is no! Pick up your axe! Kill them all! No!
Uh. Eivor, are you bewitched? Unbind us! What? Oh. Yes, of course. Alright, let's get all these restraints off of our good old friends over here. Looks like we do have a gentleman over here, and then several of them that are actually inside of this cage. Ah, oh, my oh, friend, Wolf you have my thanks. Even if your wits were somewhat rattled. Listen here. If you can breathe, you can fight. Now come. We take back our ship. You do not need to tell us twice. Unfortunately, it looks like these guys have been alerted to our presence. Obviously, we were able to get rid of at least one of them, but I'm actually going to try to get over to this guy. Try to break that shield with a heavy attack, and then basically we knocked him right on his butt. Now, of course, I'm actually going to start working on these guys again. Doing a little bit of damage, but obviously not as much as we would really like just about yet. These guys are kind of wielding a little bit more armor than I think we're normally accustomed to. Try to save as many of our guys as we can, because, you know, ultimately we need a lot of guys to help us with our ship once we get all the way over there. Took a little bit of a hit there, ultimately got just a little bit dazed, but nothing too crazy I think we're going to be able to recover. Looks like we got a pretty good shot on that guy. Obviously going to try to work over to the several gentlemen that are over here. It's like this guy's actually trying to hurt our friend, but, you know, we're going to put an end to that as quickly as we can. Doing a little bit more damage to this guy, do a really good knockout attempt there, basically knocked him right on his butt. And we're actually going to continue to move up here. It looks like the city is so far looking okay. Of course, we do see some water up here, which is usually a good sign of where our ship will be located, so I'm actually going to move up. Unfortunately, a couple of archers over here, so I think we're going to try to switch over to our bow, see if we can't line up a couple of good headshots in the meantime. I think we might have shot that dude right in the collarbone. I don't think he's really going to be a fan of that. Definitely our archery skills are kind of one of our redeeming qualities. I feel like we definitely hit these guys for quite a bit of damage, and actually does quite devastating damage to these guys, even when we kind of line up a headshot. Couple more gentlemen down here. I wonder if one of our friends is actually still trying to reclaim the beach. Obviously, we're going to jump into the fray here and see if we can't help out just a little bit. Looks like that dude's actually knocked out, if you guys can see. We're going to let him get up, though, just so that he can try another chance of surviving. But ultimately, we're going to try to chip away at these guys' skulls while we slowly but surely revive some of our comrades. Dag, Bregi, grab your oars. The whale road leads us home. Gods, it's about time. Stop yapping and start rowing. More sail! Rather silent, Eivor. Anything to say for the mess you led us to? We suffered no losses in this fight, and the men who humiliated us are dead. What is there to say? Oh, something like, I was stupid, selfish, reckless, blind, boneheaded, and I smell like blood and shit? I like my version better. Look! Someone is setting up an outpost on that island. Cut this men. Gnawing at any piece of open land like dogs worrying a bone. Even with you half in the grave, we could easily take them. King Sterbjorn will scold you for setting out against his wishes. Of course he will. Is that not something you worry over? I worry only that our king will not see that I am right until it's too late. What about Sigurd? What would he say? If Sigurd were here, he would be sitting beside you, wiping the blood from his axe and smiling into the breeze.
And what will you tell our king about this misadventure? Only the truth. That we attacked Kjotve's fortress, killed his men, and weakened his control of this land. Will you mention the part where you lost your crew and were nearly sold as a thrall? Will that be part of your saga? If there's a skull who dares sing that verse, it'll be his last song. Make for the dark. <laughs> well, well, the feeder of ravens returns, and not half dead. We thought we had lost you, Eivor. For good this time. A warm welcome as always, Ranvi. You look like reddened shit. What happened? Nothing to crow about. Except to say the men who delayed us are dead. And how are you? Well enough. Though I have spent many tiresome days calming the rages of our king. He is not happy with you. I expected as much. And what of Sigurd? Has he returned from his raids? My husband should be home today. The last we heard, he was approaching Stavanger. Good to hear. We have need of his courage. Sigurd will not save you from his father's wrath, Eivor. You should know that by now. Did your raid not go as planned? They rarely go as planned. But we killed many of Kjotve's warriors. And there was this. My father's axe among the dead. Ah. After so many years. You should take it to Gunnar. He will give it back its edge. A good idea. After I see our king. That I do not advise. Not yet. He is meeting with a messenger from the north. I can wait. A cloud hangs over you. Is something wrong? Seeing my father's axe after seventeen winters. It stirred something in me. A feeling I have not had since. Since the day he was killed. Since the day I got this. Memories of past agonies. Of sadness and pain. I should speak with Volka. She could help me make sense of my... My feelings. Take your time getting settled. I will see you at the Longhouse. I think you have lost your edge, Eivor. Just like that axe. Maybe Gunnar can help you with both. I will let you know. <laughs> 